Hello everybody. How are you all doing today? Me? I'm a little bit under the weather. Sip my tea. Hopefully it's just a cold. Is anything just a cold these days? I'm filming in this setup again without actually knowing if it actually looks good because truth is I haven't actually edited the previous video I filmed here last week. I could give you a thousand excuses to why I haven't uploaded or edited or generally just been behind on my work lately but who the hell cares, I'm just very sorry that I missed an upload especially if you were counting on it on your Sunday very sorry about that so what are we doing today? nothing new here at the moment reacting to my past solo travel videos while waiting for the borders to reopen hashtag education is not tourism .com. We were all hoping for October, now the state of emergency has been extended to the end of September so who knows what could happen at this point, October was my cutoff date and now I just, I just don't know what to do honestly I do not know what to do so there's nothing to tell so we're just gonna move on and watch this video after I get a sip of tea because I've barely been talking for a few minutes and um, my throat is already killing me okay so this episode is called solo trip to japan messed up i messed up actually i messed up in kyoto and i think i know why i messed up yeah so it was my first time in kyoto i do remember a few things about arriving in kyoto for the first time but i feel like we should maybe first get into it before i start um explaining things and about the mistake i'm all over the place uh the thing that i messed up about maybe you can guess what it is or remember what it is but it's not the first time that it happened in this trip leave a comment if you remember what this mistake is let's go to kyoto please don't explode my ear hello everybody how are you all doing today i don't know what is doing that noise <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Kyoto today. I was gonna start filming till later in the day because I have an appointment for a tea ceremony this morning and I thought I'd go straight there in case I get lost, which I get so lost at Kyoto station I couldn't find the buses. for Kyoto I've literally just arrived on the bus <laughs> so I haven't noticed so much I haven't noticed many things yet but I have noticed that it's gonna be very touristy and that there are a lot of kimono rental shops and uh, so far that's what I've noticed <laughs> okay let's go find my appointment I know I've got like a bunch of time before but knowing me and my map reading skills and etc I'm gonna go find it now <laughs> good idea past me My little b-roll with all the little sounds so obviously it is touristy but for someone like if it's the first time you're in japan if it's the first time you're in kyoto it is fascinating and it is interesting there is still some traditional feel to it even though there is like very visibly this intense tourism feeling like come buy our things kind of thing and catered for tourism that's the word i'm looking for it is very much catered for tourism a lot of djibouti stuff yeah, that was a lot of djibouti stuff gigantic totoro that road which is super pretty but so busy so busy Okay, I'm gonna pause here because I directly jump into my tea ceremony appointment where I cannot film so there's not much to say about that yeah, I did mention getting lost in the Kyoto train station it does ring a bell but also I get lost everywhere um, <laughs> no matter where I go I feel like Iku has to get lost somehow I'm getting better at reading maps but I still get lost everywhere I go even if it's a little lost just 
yeah <laughs> even though i have a freaking compass on my arm tattooed on my arm i still get lost but clearly i found my way to the buses i do remember the little bus station oh, it was quite big actually the really big bus station and finding it kind of hard to figure out where i had to go can't help you there because i don't remember how kyoto buses worked i think you just need to figure out the bus number and buy your ticket and i think i got a day day pass which was super helpful because the amount of time i got into the wrong bus and had to turn around and take another bus a day pass <laughs> was more than necessary for sure i do have a weird memory but it might not have been in kyoto um that you could pay like when you exited the bus like in the little coin slots maybe it was a whole other place in in japan but i have that memory uh in my head because i remember putting my coins at one point in the completely wrong slot i feel like i've already told this story um <laughs> in some other video but i put the coins into the change making slot and um yeah the change started shooting out below and the bus driver was trying to stop me because i wasn't noticing that the coins were shooting out below and uh, it was just a nightmare <laughs> but why do you have the payment part and then the change part like right next to each other when i'm as Dressed out, not that smart tourist in the first place. <laughs> but yeah, pretty sure that I had a day pass uh, for the times where I went to Kyoto, and it was really, it was really helpful, like I mentioned. And uh, to go anywhere in Kyoto, the buses is the buses are number one, the number one mode of transportation from what I can remember. Um, and it's really easy because, like I said, Kyoto at the moment is very much catered for tourism for tourists so everything is indicated in the bus you have um obviously the voices announcing the name of the stop you have a little tv that says like what's the main tourist spot in that spot like, i don't know kinkakuji is near that station or something like that so it's really easy to navigate i know i mentioned that i still got on the wrong bus a few times but that's because it, it, i'm not that smart <laughs> and sometimes i went to more obscure obscure areas or i didn't follow my own plan i went off course from my own plan and that's when i make mistakes i completely messed up guys i forgot my iphone charger i have got the battery but not the charger not the key again it's the second time i've done that mistake and my iphone is already down 20 percent so i don't know what to do honestly um i can walk around but i can't actually find things otherwise i'll just discharge my battery and um i don't know how to uh, how to get back to the bus without my iphone so i can't really you know i can't take pictures i can't research stuff i'm really frustrated with myself right now so um to technology i don't know either i go back uh, I'm so frustrated. Uh, geez, guys. Because it's like barely like t uh, 2 p.m., I think. So I feel like I'm wasting an entire day because of my stupid mistake. Just because I don't know how to get back. Um, so we'll see. A little incense stick here. I'm gonna go put it right over there. A little incense stick. Where am I gonna put it? Okay, hold on, it might get a little wobbly here, guys. <laughs> I was really bummed out by those people, like, always oh, getting in my shot. Right there. I'm gonna go to Japan so bad, I'm not ready to give up yet, guys. It's just... I'm not ready to give up. This is so frustrating. Well, it's not panic, but my phone is officially dead. There's like 2%. Uh, it's dropped from oh. 25 to nothing in just a few minutes. I don't know what's going on. I have the battery saver on it and everything. But I'm gonna chill. Phone. I'm just gonna assume that I'm gonna find my way wherever I go because I don't want to waste a day. It's Friday. Tomorrow's the weekend. I'm gonna come back anyway, but it's gonna be much more crowded, I suppose. So I just visited. And did I get the name wrong uh, every time? Bonjour. 
I just, I don't know why he spoke to me in French when I was speaking in English to a camera. I guess I looked French. Um, anyway, I'm walking back over here because check out this view. Pretty view. of maps so we're gonna do it the old I did end up staying way. Look at best it. way <laughs> okay. had to climb back up to get them Good. and I also Reason. find a map of where uh, it shows where you can touch the statues like some for health yeah. or touch longevity good marriage and stuff so if I if they cross my path they will be touched by me <laughs> I don't know why I'm being silly What's cool is that every other corner there's this thing so you know where you are and where you want to go like literally every other corner there's one of these so yeah I don't think that it's possible to get too lost luckily <laughs> famous yeah I'll be fine part. since I don't have my camera you're gonna have to see me eat street food um, I think this is a cracker I asked for his recommendation and this is what he gave me so oh my ah. face Definitely a cracker. I believe Japanese crackers are called senbei, so this might be it. Mm. It's really good. Mm. So tonight, I catch an early night. And oops, tomorrow I get an early start. I come here, I visit, I have a plan. I've got my phone charger, I've got more spending money, because yeah. Spent everything again. Oh no. Bad. What is that guy doing? <laughs> Get out of my shot. So yeah, that is gonna be the new plan. I don't even know where I'm going now. That's what I don't like. I'm not even sure if I'm like getting super far away from where I need slash want to be or... I have no clue. I'm coming up to a temple anyway. Ah, oh, I was heading up to Kyomisedera. Okay, okay. I don't think I went there. I think I went up the steps and just turned back around. Oh god, the view is so pretty! Oh, let me escape! Oh, is that how it ends? Ah. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that was... My first little taste of Kyoto. I don't know if I return there the next day. I remember like maybe going back there the next day and then doing something different and then returning a little bit later. I think my time in Kyoto was split um, during that. I think it was one week where I was in that Airbnb in Osaka. I think it was pretty much one week where I did Osaka, Kyoto and Nara but being based in Osaka. Kyoto is definitely a thing in itself and worth a visit and I'm, I stuck to a lot of tourist spots in the beginning um, but I'm sure there's so much more to offer and that's oh I just want to go back and discover everything and just walk up the beaten path, path and you know all that good stuff mm, yes <laughs> Anyway, as usual, I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below, guys, like from your own travel experiences and your stories, and if you have any questions, let me know. Yeah, we're obviously still waiting to see if I can go to Japan and give you more of these videos and less of these reaction videos. See you on the next one. I hope you're doing well. Big hug. Stay strong. And, um, I'll you. Bye!